What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's Thursday afternoon here in Finley, Ohio. It's a sweltering hot day, and I'm hanging out in the beer shed with no AC, no fans. So the only means I have to cool myself off is a nice cold beer. Uh, the beer that I have today is called Nebula Colada Guava Coconut Tart Shake. Um, that might sound appealing to some. It sounds quite uh, intimidating to me. I'm not a fan of, of guava. I'm generally not a fan of coconuts. Um, and I suspect this is going to be one of those quite thick um, shake style beers. But since I'm doing a few beers that are kind of out of my comfort zone, I figure I'll give this one a shot. So we'll see what it, you know, see what it's like. Uh, this brewery is out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Anderson picked this up when he was out there a couple weeks ago. What's kind of interesting, the can art's kind of, kind of cool. Um, and they have a little bit of information on the back. It says Nebula Colada Guava Coconut Tart Shake. Tart Shake. Ale brewed with uh, guava puree, coconut, toasted coconut, milk, sugar, and vanilla beans. Um, it says basically drink cold. But what it doesn't have anywhere on it was the ABV, which I thought was odd. I didn't know if I thought you had to by law. But it just seems like every single beer I've ever had <laughs> basically tells you the ABV. And this one doesn't. Um, on Untapped, it said it's 6.5%. And that's about all I could find. I also went to the uh, website for the Cinderlands Brewing. Um, and it honestly wasn't that helpful. It was a bit confusing. If anything, almost every website I go to for breweries, there's something that just says beer. You click on the beer and it shows you what beers they have available. Um, some of them obviously in greater detail than others, but they generally say, here are the beers, here are the stats on them, tells you what they are. And for this brewery, I looked and looked and looked. It had different locations, it had jobs, it had all kinds of stuff. And the only thing I could find with any reference to the actual beers um, was if you went through kind of like an order online to have beers shipped to you. Of course, they only shipped to Pennsylvania and D.C. Um, but I think they had, you know, they had a couple beers lifts, listed there, but this wasn't one of them. So, you know, it wasn't very helpful in trying to learn a little more about the offerings that they had. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's give this one a shot here. Again, this is ale brewed with guava puree, coconut, toasted coconut, milk, sugar, and vanilla beans. So, should be interesting. Color, eh, not too bad. I wasn't sure what I expected the color to be like. I probably thought it was going to be some kind of pinkish type color given the, the guava puree. And this kind of just looks like a hazy IPA with maybe a tiny bit of a, a purplish hue to it or, or something, a pinkish purplish kind of tint. Um, seems like a fair amount of, of carbonation in there. As far as the head, I mean, that's at least two fingers. I'm just going with the large mason jar here. Um... Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, fair amount of carbonation. It's quite hazy. You can't really see through it, but I can see tons of bubbles coming up just from the, the limited spots that I can see. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, that's an odd smell. You get hit with a bunch of different things there at once. First thing you pick up is kind of like a, a funkiness. I don't know, you know, like a little bit of a sourness. I know it says it's a tart shake, so... I guess it's some sort of sour. You pick up some funkiness right away. You pick up some sweet fruit. Um, it's one of the reasons I don't like guava. I think it's too sweet and it's cloyingly sweet. So I'm not a huge fan. But you pick up the, the sweetness of the fruit. Don't pick up the coconut as much as I'd expect. Like I said, one of the things I, I dislike the smell of coconut. It reminds me of like suntan lotion and all that stuff being a kid. And you go to the shore and you get that slathered on you and I absolutely hate it. And whenever I smell coconuts, I think it brings me back to Wildwood in like 1986 or something. Yeah, it smells all right. Nothing too, too crazy there. I think the initial shock of all those different things going on kind of threw me off. But once you kind of accept it, I guess. You pick up the little bit of coconut, you pick up the sweetness of the guava and the, the, the funkiness. It is what it is. I guess it's guava coconut tart shake. All three of those were present in the smell. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Hmm, interesting. Um, very thick beer, obviously. Um, I thought that you'd feel more like kind of floating around in there. A lot of times when you have these shake style beers, they usually taste to me like if you get orange juice or some kind of juice uh, that still has the pulp in it, it's kind of thick. I don't hate that taste, but it is kind of, um, you know, a texture thing. And I know a lot of people don't like 
uh, pulp in their juices. This isn't that bad. It is thick though. You can definitely feel there's there's something to it here, but it doesn't. You don't really feel the bits floating around in there. Definitely thick. Um, the tastes are more subdued than I thought that they were going to be. You definitely pick up a little bit of the the guava. You definitely pick up the milk sugar sweetness. Um, the strange thing is, I think you taste the coconut a heck of a lot more than you smell it. And the coconut's also kind of subdued. It's another thing I was afraid of. That it would be over the top coconut and it would just put me off, but it's really not. Yeah, so what's this supposed to have? You pick up the guava, you pick up the coconut, you pick up the milk sugar, the vanilla beans. Let's see if I can discern that or pick it up. I don't think I really pick up the vanilla um, and, and it could be that it's just uh, overpowered by the guava or the milk sugar or those are kind of cloaking it but I don't really pick up the vanilla as much the other flavors I think you you do pick up though and I'm surprised that this is actually not a bad beer um, given the flavors in it I thought oh this is gonna be another train wreck where they try to fit 53 things into a beer and it's gonna be thick like vomit and I'm not gonna want to drink it uh, but it, it's actually well done this is a, a solid beer you pick up all the flavors it is kind of like a tropical drink and as it is hotter than heck today uh, it seems like uh, the appropriate beverage for the for the season now would I drink a bunch of these and drink them regularly probably not but if you're sitting out by the pool or you're out back and you want something a little bit different maybe a little fruity but not you know one of those really light beverages that we tend to see in the summer I think this would fit the bill so Cinderlands Brewing out of Pittsburgh PA even though I'm a Philly boy I'll give you the thumbs up this is a good beer um, I would drink another one of these if you like the video please give me a thumbs up hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this please hit subscribe and as always you got any comments or questions jump in down below if you've had any other Cinderlands beers let me know what you think of them I'd like to try some more of their brews this one's pretty good hey till next time take care